All right, good afternoon again. This is the house that Steve is building for the family who's going to come and uh, live here and basically be caretakers here. And again, you can see how they do the construction here. And they always do it the same. They're, they're, like I said, they know what they're doing. They're good at it. And as you look down the wall here, yeah, they've done a, a really excellent job. But even more so here, you can see how they uh, cement the horizontal surface. They actually put the bricks, lay the bricks on next to each other. And then fill everything with uh, cement and work it up so you wind up basically with a solid four foot concrete wall <laughs> see if I can kind of step through here without doing too much damage and of course pillars every so often here for uh, added support but uh, this is uh, so typical of the construction here and the way they build and most all of our buildings you know were done the same way too as this and it looks like they're gonna fill this up so they put a lot of dirt in here so they're gonna fill it up to a level and then probably concrete floor in it I'm assuming And again, you see the concrete pile here and the mixing that they're doing is all done by hand. You see if I can kind of move around here. And what's this here? That's how they carry the cement and the stone from the piles that are dumped here. You fill one of the concrete bags up about two-thirds, stick it on your shoulder or the Filipinos, put it on top of their head <laughs> and carry it over here. Uh, you want to talk about manual labor? All you big husky guys in the States and in Australia, yeah, this is true manual labor here in order to accomplish anything. They do this here. And the stone, fortunately, they had a back route in here. So he, they were able to actually bring in and dump the stone here, from what I understand, and the bricks. So Steve was real lucky on that count. But uh, looks really good here with what they're doing. And you can see the rebar that they're putting in and attaching rebar. Approximately every brick to every other brick. They do. <laughs> Completely different than what they do in the state. This is how they build all their structures and they're really good at it. And of course they use a, a line level here that they've got here to line up the bricks, which uh, everybody uses. That seems to be standard practice and brickwork and that. Yep. Yeah, yeah. And there's the family right there. Yep. <laughs> He's a good size. Yeah, real good size. Very good size. Yeah. The original house was supposed to be 20 feet by 20 feet. But then I said, I saw that 20 feet by 20 feet. It looked a little bit small. I said, I'm making 20 by 20. So that's why it's going in. 10 meters by 6 meters. Yep. Yeah, 20 by 30. So this is, it gives you a real good idea 
of how they do the work here and that that's why I took these extra videos here I kind of wanted the people to see and it's all with uh, same size brick as we have in the states but they're only four inches four inches deep but uh, they do not fill them in the states they generally do not rebar them and that so to make up for the difference here and these are actually a, a very good quality brick here there's some places you can buy brick here and the quality is pretty lousy <laughs> I don't know but they still do it all the same way with uh, but with the better quality bricks here definitely end up much longer and of course you wind up with basically a four inch solid concrete wall rebar enforced and then they actually tie the rebar as you can see here actually tie the rebar to two three different levels all the way down to the footing here and the footing on the corners is actually deeper than the rest and basically a concrete footing here too and that's like I said this is pretty typical construction here in the Philippines the way they do it and my houses have been done the exact same way so yeah, yeah really good so you get an idea here like I said they'll lay the bricks up they got the string level there to line it up and then they fill the bricks up and there you go <laughs> a whole lot different here and an affordable way to do it here and actually because of that more people can afford to own brick structures and like I said it's really the way to go because you avoid uh, <laughs> the bugs and uh, the termites and everything that uh, you wanna see carpenters? that oh we got the carpenter the head carpenter here now wow. doing her job are you working now yeah huh? Uh, oh boy! Don't be shy. Come on. Selfie. <laughs> Anyhow, I'm gonna let you folks go. So we'll probably be back later on. But uh, got a good look here at uh, Steve's farm and the progress that's being made. And uh, yeah, what a beautiful piece of property he does have. Now, best wishes to him and God bless.